What's going on guys? Today we are going to do a little tabletop review on the Fieldpiece VP85, which is the 8 CFM vacuum pump. They do make a 5 CFM as well, uh, which I'm not very familiar with, so we're just going to be covering the VP85, which is the 8 CFM version, which you see in front of you. We've had this one for about a month and we have a couple others as well. So this particular model has a three quarter horse motor in it. It is a brushless DC voltage motor. Um, the applied voltage for this model is ranges between 95 volts and I believe 130 volts. It weighs approximately 28 pounds without any oil in it. You can see you have a really large window here so you can see the condition of your oil instead of having the typical sight glass like most standard vacuum pumps. Open this door up and you can see you have your empty oil reservoir down here. This vacuum pump allows you to change the oil on the fly so you can keep the vacuum pump running. You don't lose any vacuum while you change the oil if need be. It holds eight ounces of oil. Like I said, this is an empty reservoir down here and it's on like a little spring-loaded foot. And just slides in there and mates up to a little gasket. So all you would have to do is open this up, drain the oil on the side of the VP85. You have a spare oil container. This vacuum pump gives you the ability to not need any evacuation tree where you have a quarter inch port built in, a half inch port built in, and two three eighths ports built in, which makes it really convenient. And on this side, you can see you have your on and off switch and your gas ballast as well. It has an indicator light that lets you know when the gas ballast is open. When you close the gas ballast, the light goes out. All right, guys, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and test the vacuum pump. Now, the literature says that this vacuum pump should pull down to an ultimate vacuum of 15 microns. I'm not sure what time frame they are going by. So what I'm going to do, rather than test it on a system or do any of that stuff, is I'm just going to do the tabletop test. I have the Blue Vac Mini hooked up. I'm going to test it for 60 seconds like I would do with any other vacuum pump, just as routine maintenance. You want to always make sure your vacuum pump can pull down to 50 microns or below within 60 seconds. So I'm going to use that 60 second time frame and we'll just see how far this vacuum pump can pull down. And also you'll get an idea of what it sounds like. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. I'm going to close the gas ballast. And I'm going to start our one minute timer. There's our one minute, and you can see we pulled down to about 38 microns. I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. And you could still see that the microns were going down. Again, I'm not exactly sure the 15 micron ultimate vacuum. I'm not exactly sure what the uh, time frame was on that. I've done a couple other tests, not on video, but just hooked up the gauge just like you see it here and let the pump run for about 10 minutes and I was usually getting down to somewhere around 27 microns. So definitely well under the 50 um, that I usually judge a vacuum by within 60 seconds. So. so all you need to do is just open this lever. You see the oil drain down. Open our oil fill port. That's all drained out. So all our oil is captured here. Take our refill. And we'll just pour it right in. And it's as simple as that. And then obviously you would just want to remove this. It stores the cap on the side shut this off it stores the cap on the side and this is spring-loaded so you just push that down slide that out just take the cap obviously seal her up and you're good to go and then you would just take this empty one and basically do the same thing put the cap back on the side set it on the little spring-loaded stand lock it in and you're good to go 
I believe you can run the pump for up to two minutes without oil. Obviously, you want to change the oil as quickly as possible, but I'm not sure how long that took, but probably around 30 to 45 seconds. All right, guys, I think that's it as far as the features and everything go for the VP85. Uh, one thing I did want to address is anytime I do these tool reviews, product reviews, things like that, I try to be as unbiased as possible. I try to give the best information I can, good, bad, or indifferent. Um, I'm not sponsored by any manufacturer that I've ever tested tools for. Everything that I test and my opinions are just that, my opinions, um, based on my firsthand experience. So I like to give you guys as much information as I can uh, just to help you make the most informed decision. So on that note, we did have one issue with the VP85. Now we have four of these now. Uh, at the time we had the problem, we had three on order and we had one in our possession. The first one that we had when we got it, it worked flawlessly. The first three evacuations, it was great. No problems at all. Everything was wonderful. The fourth time we went to use it, the only thing that would come on was the ballast light. Nothing else would come on function whatsoever. So we contacted a couple people who then contacted a couple people, got in touch with some uh, field piece representative and Basically what we were told is the, I assume it was the first few batches of these that came off the assembly line had, I don't want to, I don't want to call it a, necessarily a problem, but it is, I guess a problem is they were having an issue where there's a wiring harness behind this panel. This whole panel comes off and there's two wiring harnesses that go into a control board. They were having issues with whether it was in shipment or in transit in the back of service vehicles being jostled around that those harnesses were coming loose and popping off of the board and then everything would stop working. So immediately when they found out basically the issue that we described, that's exactly what they said. Um, they already basically knew what it was. So they told us to go ahead and take this panel off and check those harnesses. So we pulled the panel off and sure enough, one of those harnesses was disconnected. So we plugged it back in, we put everything back together thinking everything was gonna be great. We turned it on and the only difference was we still had the ballast light. The only difference was we got the LEDs in the oil viewing window, but nothing functioned still. You could hear it click and whine a little bit, almost like the motor was locked up, but it would never try and actually run. So um, I want to give a shout out to True Tech Tools, who we purchased this from. They went ahead and rushed us out a replacement and also a prepaid um, invoice so we can go ahead and ship the, the failed component back. So that's what we did. So our downtime was extremely minimal. So shout out to True Tech Tools, customer services, phenomenal. So we went ahead and did that, but we're not sure if the wiring harness coming off caused the complete failure or if it was some sort of coincidence. But what sort of rubbed me the wrong way is that field piece knew about it, but they didn't bother to tell anybody about it. Um, what concerns me about it, and of course it's under warranty and all that good stuff, but what did concern me was what if that wiring harness hasn't fallen off of somebody's vacuum pump yet and it happens to go out of warranty, then it falls off. If you can just plug it back in and everything works, then you're fine. But if it does like ours did where it completely failed, then you're sort of SOL. So I would have liked Field Piece to be more proactive in that sense and maybe put like a, a bulletin or put something out on their Facebook page or something like that, just letting people know, be proactive, like, hey, the first batch or two of these, we had this issue, this is how you rectify it, or this is how you check it, and not wait for them to actually fail knowing that the potential is there. That was the only issue. We haven't had any other hiccups with the vacuum pumps. Again, we have four of them. Um, everything else is, has been has been great. So. As a whole, I'm very happy with the vacuum pump. Um, everything about it I like, with the exception of the footprint. Um, it's not a bad thing. It's definitely larger than what I'm used to for the past nearly 20 years. So I'm looking for a new sort of home to put this vacuum pump in, uh, in the van. So that's the only that's the only real negative I have, and it's not really a negative about the vacuum pump. Great price, performs great. Um, it's lighter than your standard vacuum pump. Uh, it's yeah, built-in evacuation tree, which is awesome. Everything else is, is great about it. So 
if you're interested in a vacuum pump and you're looking to upgrade what you have, the VP85 by Field Piece is definitely one that you should look into. Uh, like I said, we're probably going to end up having one of these on all of our vans here shortly. So, hope that helped with the review. Hope you guys liked it. Hope it was informative. If you have any other questions that I failed to answer, comment below. If I don't know the answer, I'll try my best to find it for you. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you on the next one.